Next and so ordered, would the clerk designate the amendment? Amendment number 13 offered by Ms. Johnson. Ms. Johnson is recognized for five minutes to explain her amendment. Thank you. Well, when I traveled to Ottawa this year with the purpose of touring the NAV Canada's operations, I was stunned to learn that there was less than 1,500 airports throughout all of Canada. In case members are not aware, there are more than 2,000 airports and heliports in the state of Texas alone. Yet Canada privatized its air traffic control system and transferred its assets over to NAV Canada. The corporation paid the Canadian government nearly $1.5 billion in Canadian money for those assets. I have endeavored to find out the value of our own air traffic organization assets, but most estimates seem to ignore several important factors, such General as- General Lady will suspend. The committee will come to order. Can members keep their conversations to a minimum? Can members keep their conversations to a minimum? Thank you. The general lady deserves to be heard. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, because if they listen, they're going to vote aye on this one. Um, some estimates seem to um, ignore several important factors, such as real property values or leases and service contract obligations. There's even disagreement over how the government would assess the value of these assets, let alone whether it's fair. Uh, this is why my amendment would direct the FAA to conduct a final assessment of the total value of these assets, including facilities, equipment, and real property. In keeping with transparency and accountability, the amendment would also require the GAO to conduct its own independent audit in order to ensure that the FAA assessment is accurate. I believe that at a minimum, we should determine the fair market value of these assets before we even consider conveying such a large portion of public property to the new corporation. Taxpayers and aviation users have invested billions of dollars into our nation's airspace, which has granted us the benefit of having the safest and most complex airspace in the world. We should have an empirical and practical understanding of the value of these assets before thinking of giving them away, and certainly not for free. My amendment is to, is really a common sense opportunity to gather all the facts before we embark upon one of the most historic and consequential transfers of public assets to a private entity in our nation's history. I strongly urge my colleagues to support this amendment so that we can make an educated and informed decision going forward. In my opinion, this chamber cannot sufficiently perform its due diligence without this information. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, and you're back.